Without accurate data from Idris, we're stuck relying on these old onboard computers to calculate our FTL jumps. Luckily, I think I've found us an out. There's an abandoned colony halfway between Alpha and Gamma that isn't registering much activity. It should be a relatively safe jump. As long as we're careful with our data, we can take the data list from there to Gamma and back home to Ragnar, hopefully without collecting any moons along the way. Alright guys, here we are, chapter 4, Cocalus. Cocalus? Cocalus? I don't know how you say it, but that's what it is. So here we go. Uh, so we beefed up the fleet a little bit. We now have four adamants and two manticore. So we're going to have uh, quite a bit more fighter support. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So... I think we're just going to split and put like two on each side. Just have like an equal force basically on each side. Can we get that? Manicore, can you stop hiding? There we go. So I think we're just gonna kinda go with something like this. Have uh yeah, I'm not sure, why not? Um alright, so we're gonna we've got have quite a bit of fighters now actually for this early in the game. Uh, but we did sacrifice a little bit of Cylon over some of the quorum planets, but you know we'll deal with that later. This is the series is mostly about the chapter missions, not so much the like galactic overview gameplay. I might might do something on that later, but it's more about the missions. So bought us some adamants, and here we go. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Multiple contacts on Dratus, sir. Records show there hasn't been a Tauran presence out here since the war first broke. We can safely assume any Dratus contacts out there are hostile. Blast us away home, Commander. All right. First and foremost, let's launch the fighters from uh, Daedalus. Launching alert let's vipers. And defensive. Uh, let's launch fighters from all the adamants. And I guess since we already split them this way, we'll just kind of go. Yes, sir. Gun boost. Why not? All right, so boost. It's nice seeing like a nice number of fighter squadrons just blip in. All right. So we're going to actually use the fighters for is to screen the enemy. Yes, sir. And what I mean by that is since often you have to get really close to like uncover them, it's easier to just send out your fighters, let them basically relay back what they are, and then you can launch your missiles from a farther distance. So like if we actually take this, just go to attack. And just like we can actually just kind of chill back here right because our fighters are going to basically go out and be like yo this is a whatever and then we can just launch everything we have at them the way they're moving Fire control is warmed up and my guess would be talons yep there's the fighters so we have Western talons nominal, RTS green. i'm good to go would be my Pretty solid guess. So since we know they're Talons, Talons don't have missiles? Question mark? I don't think so. So let's just go ahead and send Understood. out our fighters. Okay. Select you, please. There we go. Should just make this easier. That 
way our fighters can intercept. Uh, hopefully three on one, they should be able to take them out pretty quickly. Target is three, four by six. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Uh, focusing on it will just let them fire a little quicker, really, and I don't know. It's probably not going to do a whole lot, but... Optimizing firing solution. One shot. Just give me one good shot. Target acquisition is screwed. Give me manual controls now. Commander, multiple new Dratus contacts. It appears someone really doesn't want us leaving Helios Alpha. Hmm. That changes things. Yes, sir. All right, we'll just send that group to them. Uh, this group can easily handle two talons, but we are gonna go ahead and press forward now. Torpedoes. IFS confirms unit is hostile. It's not ideal, but it's alright. So we can actually. Yeah, I'm just going on to all of these. Just. Ooh, make sure they're not going to hit each other. I don't think they will. Okay, so these guys actually we're going to defend. <clears throat> Just to kind of maybe hold back some of the missile barrages and things like that. But hopefully they don't get another chance. All right, now for you guys, let's go ahead and fire. And for this, we need to split because uh, the adamants only fire on their broadsides. Keep your Missiles incoming! Clearance. Escort clearance zone is active. Firing on target. All right, it's so kind of the same thing here. So say we all. Actually, he took a pounding on his left side, so we're actually going to yes, sir. turn his right side in. Yes, Commander. No way, if they do get another salvo, uh, they'll have to get through all of the shields first. So this Talon should be fairly screwed this map, this round. Yep, there we go. Uh, all right, so let's get our fighters because they're not doing any good back here. Let's go ahead and send them forward. I'm not super worried about the Talon because the Talon doesn't have like rockets and things where the Nemesis do. So we're just going to go ahead and just go tell them to attack that. So they'll be headed that way. Now these guys, unfortunately, are going to take forever yes, Commander. to get over. Yes, Commander. Uh, what did the missile T 
two turns, two turns, okay. Yes, sir. Sometimes it's hard to position the adamants. If you're chasing down faster craft, it's hard to keep your broadsides on them. Um, like I said earlier, I think in one of the last uh, episodes, though, the mana core can easily 1v1 a nemesis, so I'll just have this mana core chase him down and blast him out of this guy. And then these guys can just do whatever with this. If he wants to circle or whatever. updated. Target acquisition maintained. Oh, is he gonna ram me? Don't ram me. Are you dick? Understood. Understood. I'm really tempted to send the fighters out, but actually, can I see what's the cooldown on their missiles? Oh, see, I think they're ready. So I think this next turn they're gonna launch another thing of missiles. So Yes, Commander. Alright, so we're boosting all of our engines. Just try to get back in the fight with this uh, this attack group out here. Again, I'm not super worried about them. They don't have any missiles or anything, so... Firing solution so is there they line. come. That hurts. Oh, that hurts. The upgrade to the new Vipers is like so huge, so, so huge in terms of um, their usefulness. So say we all. Like if these have been MK2s, I don't even know if at this range, one, there might've been like one that got through, but the rest of them would've been taken out. Okay, oh, we got that one, okay. Well, that's good at least. Yes, sir. All right, we'll use one rocket because I think we'll be able to take them down. We'll fire the other rockets at this one. In which case, these guys we can just go ahead and divert because it's they're gonna be gone before they get there. Yes, sir. Target. All right, target. Oh, also, um. So here's a good thing that it took me a while to realize. Whenever you fire missiles, you really want your posture to be full attack because it affects your salvo size. So like if we go into posture and you look at fire control, you can see munition salvo size here. So like if we're like normal, you see it's 100%, but now we're on 116. Of course, if you're in defensive, it goes down. And of course, uh, the farther along in the game you get, the more like pluses you get on your posture. So that can get that can be huge. I mean, by the late stages of the game, being in offensive mode can fire like double the number of missiles. So you always want to be in offensive if you can when you're firing your, your missiles and armaments. So say we all. Now I'm not going to go offensive for this one just because. These adamants are so slow, if I don't leave it in speed, it's just not gonna do anything. Anyway. Commander. But normally you would. We're gonna hammer the frackers till they can't get back up. Alright, there we go. Nice, nice. Now we can actually, since we have all the 
missile throwers are down, we can send these fighters on here as well. So say we all. <clears throat> Yes, sir. You see this adamant man, it just cannot catch up. <clears throat> Clean up order received. Rally on me. We've got them now. I'm sandwiched pretty All good there, Thane. contacts are clear. We are go to jump to Helios Gamma, sir. I'll sleep better when I can see the Ragnar clouds again. All right. I don't think I've so that concludes four chapter right four. Icon. We aren't safe yet. I want the Daedalus in Helios Gamma before we're attacked again. Yes, Admiral. FTL drives our spooling. Commander, we'll jump on your word. All right. So here comes the replay. Hope you guys enjoy. Weapons free and by the numbers, folks. Fire control is warmed up and preparing solutions. Thrusters nominal, RTS green. I'm good to go. Target is 3-4 by 6-2. Optimizing firing solution. One shot. Just give me one good shot. Target acquisition is screwed. Give me manual controls now. Keep your target locked and watch for clearance. Escort clearance zone is active. Firing on target. Plating is taking a pounding, sir. Escort clear zone is intact. Priority one is in safe hands. Escort priority one still online. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Chapter 4, guys. I will see you later for Chapter 5.